Over the course of a week and a half, these pounds of corn. It gives us a nice thick cap. Um, if you get over a little close, you can smell all the CO2 coming off of there. We'll ferment with yeast to become. These fermenters are full of bourbon. Nick Vaughn, the barrel guy, is constantly tasting and checking the temperature, learning from Dave Cutno, one of the founders of Reservoir Distillery. We work really, really hard to make everything Virginia and homegrown and made here. With the pride of being raised here, all the products from the grains to the wood for the barrels are from the Commonwealth. Cutno left his job in New York in 2008 and came home to Richmond to open up the place. Bourbon is a great part of our heritage and culture here. With about 50 to 60,000 bottles a year, the distillery was looking to expand and in 2016 started working with the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services to get barrels abroad. Opportunities like that are ones that you can't pass up. Last October, Cutno and other distilleries went to Germany with state officials to network. Identifying uh, different distributors, retailers that would fit our brand and having a consultant with boots on the ground in that market that would work with us and set up meetings. During an international trade mission with Governor Ralph Northam's administration this week, the distillery closed the deal with a German distributor. Cutno hopes to expand more in the future. Right now, only about 2,000 bottles are sold internationally each year. Last year, Virginia exported one and a half million dollars worth of spirits internationally. That's about a 13% increase from 2017. Reporting in Richmond, I'm Sarah McCluskey.